right, here we are at the bench. All right, time to get some shooting in here. Umarex Fusion, it's been a little bit since I, I got this gun out. I, I wanted to get a video in because everyone's asking about, you know, doing uh, uh, guns that are budget guns too. And, and Umarex, this Fusion is a great little gun. I, I didn't really get a video in of it, you know, shooting and stuff. And you know what, I got a target at 25 yards. Let's see how it does and uh, let's get started here. There's a single shot here. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's that's the wrong what? fusion. What? What are you talking about? Here, give me that thing. What? Well, okay. Here. What? All right. What do you got? Try this. What? <laughs> what? This is. Is this the fusion two? That is the fusion two. What? Now look at that. Eighty-eight gram CO two. Look at the bolt. Uh oh, here's the. Uh oh, am I seeing what I think I see? I'm seeing a mag fed. Come on, man. Are you sure? What? Wait, what's this? Check that out. Are you telling me? I know what this is. You're telling me I, this is a dual CO2 and I can put that, if I don't have any 88 grams, I can put that in here? I know this is the bleeder. You got to be kidding me. Holy cow. I cannot believe that. I wonder, here, I better look. How many shots is this mag? One, two, nine shot mag? Get out of here. Oh, and look at this. They got their silenced air technology on here. Holy cow. Is that cool looking or what? Fix four. That's the same. They had a fix four on the other one, but... Comes with the mounts, comes with the mags, two mags, safety right here. Look at that. And it's no longer single shot. Woo! Now we're talking. Oh, oh man, let me look at that. Oh boy. All right. Well, Ryan, I say let's shoot this thing in. Let's do it. Why didn't you tell me we had this? I don't know. You just said grab a, a fusion, and so I just grabbed everything I saw. Ay, ay, ay. All right, we'll be right back. Let me shoot this in real quick. Woo! Okay, I think we got it zeroed. And uh, I think we got these at 25. We're shooting some seven grainers. Here's what your nine shot mag looks like right there. I'm gonna, Ryan, I'm gonna wait a little bit on the wind here. Just give it a second. I'll have to shoot these shots pretty fast though. Because 650 feet per second gets affected by wind even at 25 or 177. So right I'd say that's it. Let's go for it. There we go. Ah, the wind gets you, but you can see we have four in the same hole. The one might be a little bit, and it could be me, it could be the wind, it could be anything. You know, uh, that, that tells you right there, this is a tack driver. So I'm pretty happy with that there. That, that's, that's really good. And you saw how fast we did those follow-up shots. That's really good. That looks to be, oh, that's probably, you know, I'd say it's, we got them just a little bit high. So we're probably at three quarters of an inch there. I got, uh, but for follow up quick, so we didn't have to deal with the wind. That's pretty much a tack drive. If we, if we were, here's another thing. The temperature right now is about 40 degrees for us. Operation of a CO2, you guys all know, should be about, mm, I would say 70 degrees would be, you know, the low is what you want to go. So we're out here kind of doing things at Sure 1721 at Stream, but we wanted to show you uh, the accuracy of this gun. It, it is a tack driver at 25. It did come with the Fix 4 scope. Uh, I, scope works, the mounts work, uh, but as a beginner gun, and uh, just getting your son or daughter and yourself and you're sitting out plinking and you want to shoot those cans at different ranges and stuff 
this gun has the amazing accuracy and the versatility of the gun come on man 250 shots with an 88 gram 70 shots with the dual co2 i mean depends on what you got of course i went with the 88 because i like that and it is backyard friendly it's budget friendly uh, overall umrex did an awesome job stepping up from the fusion one which i almost reviewed to the fusion two so a couple things i wanted to go over before i get too carried away i wanted to show you this is the co2 adapter that is can be used like i said if you don't have 88 grams and you just got co2s you got this adapter and then you take your first co2 you stick it down like that it goes down nose first so you want to make sure you do that okay then your second one goes like this and it goes up and then all you do is screw that on there now i'm not going to puncture these just because i'm not going to use this right now i'm using the 88 but there and then what it is once you have them punctured you're ready to go ready to go and then all you have to do is, is put this into the gun and screw it in make sure your threads are lined up very important you, of course you tighten this to puncture that this is your bleeder valve then so if you want to let pressure off you can just unscrew this and it'll bleed out the co2 for you this is a great idea I, but i wanted to cover this so because i didn't have it on the gun during while i was doing the shooting in the intro so right there that's how you load that up and then you have your nine shot mag right here okay and i want you to just take a look so when you i like using of course uh Umarex, the, the Meister Kruger here, the wide cutters. So you just stick in your pellets in just like this. And did you see me turn that? So now I turn it. See, it'll snap back. You, you just hold it in place. And then you just put this in here. So there you go. You do that. And that's kind of just how simple it is to load the mag right there. And that's pretty simple. So there you go. Now that we covered that, let's see if we can find something else to get into. Okay, well, I got a camera down there. We got a camera here, and so about five years ago with the Fusion 1, I shot down the McDonald's straw and blew the aspirin tablet out the back. But this time, we got one of the javelin arrows with a popper in the back. And what I mean by a popper, it's a snapper. When you throw them on the ground, they go bang proof of shot we shot through there so we're going to see what we can do here at uh, 10 yards see if we can shoot down this ryan i might have to move a little bit <laughs> there you go <laughs> well there we go we put one down through there you heard it go off and we'll take a look down here but go put one right down and I know you can see the wind that was not being nice to me but we were able to put one right down the arrow with the Umarex Fusion 2 seriously guys great job on this gun you made this into an awesome little shooter for people beginning to shoot air guns and just want to shoot cans and shoot uh, targets and stuff like that this is a great gun for that, a great gun to learn with. Okay, well, I was saying to Ryan when I was doing that offhand shot on the arrow there, I was like, the trigger's just nice. I know there's dead in there, so what we call dead, which means there's nothing gonna happen in the break. So you take all the dead out of the trigger to the break point, and I just wanna see, I just wanna see what the trigger is, just cause I'm curious. Yeah, there you go, 211. That is very nice for this gun. I just wanted to just cover that and talk about it. And, and uh, you know, in our final thoughts here, what we think of the gun overall. So I would say this. For, I think the price point I saw was a $139.99. Would that be correct? Somewhere around there. Okay. And uh, I think you're getting a good value for your, for, for your money because of the 88 gram, because of the CO2s, the 9-shot, 2 mags. You get the 4x32 scope. Of course... If you don't want to fix four and you want to move into a nice little three to nine for it or something like that that's great too but the scope worked great for our video today and you know we shot 25 yards and you saw the group that we shot even in the wind i had to rush and do it but overall the weight is great i'm gonna guess uh maybe five and a half pounds maybe 
I don't have the, the actual spec on that, but I think that's the weight. But as far as holding it offhand for shooting, you know, it is really cool. Uh, I really like it. I like everything that they did, that they're able to bring your thumb in here. Uh, they really went and jumped into the Fusion 2 and, and uh, made that a lot better. I like the pick rail on top. I mean, so many good features. But we, we bring you all, every, every air gun that we can in the videos, you know, from the Red Rider, like we said, to the Texan. We want to show uh, budget guns, too, because uh, there's a lot of people out there like, hey, you know, we want to see this. Well, we wanted to bring you this video on the Umarex Fusion 2. This is Rick and Ryan with Shooter1721. Thanks for watching.